very good morning and welcome to the last quarter of the academic year and the beginning of 2021. Since New Year is all about resolutions, let's promise ourselves to make a note of our positive traits, establish goals and work diligently towards achieving them. Also, see the good qualities in others and practice kindness and gratitude. Start each day with a positive thought and a grateful heart. Highlight the good and don't get disappointed by anything negative. Remember to always count your blessings. Gratitude jars provide a simple way to cultivate the habit of being mindful of the good things in your life. During the winter vacation, we had included this activity as part of the holiday homework. Children had to create a special jar where they saved gratitude statements at the end of the day. Let's hear from a few of them. Gratitude means to be thankful. Start each day with a grateful heart. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Focus on the good. Enjoy every moment. There is always something to be thankful for. I'm grateful for being blessed with my, my family, my home, my parents, my siblings, my car, my toys, my teacher, my friends. This is my gratitude chart. I went to Shauka Dam with my friends and family. We did barbecue and play, played so much. I felt so happy. I went to Global Village. I saw Mission Speed. I played so much. I felt great. In this holiday, I enjoyed a lot with my family. I felt grateful when my grandmother cooked my favorite dishes. Even though she's old, she cooked for me. Isn't it? Yes. So, we should always be thankful if someone does a service for us. We reopened school with a hybrid learning model with few students coming to school and others accessing the classes online. Utmost health and safety precautions are being ensured in school so as to make the students get the best of attending in-person classes and understanding personal hygiene and social distancing norms. As you all know, it's mandatory for non-Arab students to take Arabic as an additional language from grade 1 to 9. Our Arabic faculty focuses on the child's acquisition of the language through the development of listening, speaking, reading and writing skills. The teachers provide the children with high quality learning experiences supported by 21st century pedagogy. Let's hear what they have to say about it. Awali Kalima has one hand to join the letter coming after. Wasali Kalima has two hands to join with the letter coming before and after. Ahari Kalima has one hand to join with the letter coming before. One more has no hands to join with the letter coming before and after. Sarah, this is a clock. Come, Sarah, what is the time? Asatu al Wahida. It is one o'clock. Asatu al Samina. It is two o'clock. Asatu al Salisa. It is three o'clock. We, Arabic teachers, have our own ways to make our student learn. As you know, Arabic language would be more difficult for non Arabs. But through many years of teaching in schools, I observed great advantage of using different apps and games in classroom, such as quizzes, ThinkLink, Nearboot, Quizlet, WizardMe, Jamboard, and much more. Trust me, games provide Arabic language practice using different skills, speaking, writing, listening, and reading. Games encourage students to interact and communicate with each other. As a 21st century educator, our goal is to see that every student read and speak 
Hati, congratulations to Vaishnav Santosh of Grade 6 for securing the third position in Category 3 in the fourth Shakespearean Creativity Challenge organized by DPS Ajman. Appreciation also goes out to our students Monish of Grade 1 and Samat of Grade 7 for being selected for the final round out of 200 participants across 45 schools in UAE. Well done students, we are very proud of you. Coming up is the Republic Day Assembly and the Family Fun Fiesta. We'll hear more about it in the next segment. Until then, stay safe, have a great day and a great year ahead.